Let's build a chart bot which enable us to chart with our private documents such as text, PDF, HTML, CSV and etc files. Okay. So when we start the application or refresh, this is how it looks like. So first it asks us to upload a document. Right. So I am uploading a text document. So it says processing the document. It's already processed. And now you can ask the questions. Okay. What it has done is it built a rack system during this process. Now, because this document is not uh, uh, too big, uh, it's able to done uh, within a couple of seconds. So let's ask a question. Uh, by the way, uh, state of the union text, this is a speech given by the President of United States. So here we are asking a quote which encapsulate the main message. So it says, this is the quote, now is the hour, our moment of responsibility, so and so forth, etc. And then it also displays the source documents. So source zero and source one. Now, this document, it contains about 40,000 uh, tokens. And when we split it into chunks of size 1000 tokens, it has about 40 sources, right? So each source that contains about a thousand tokens. Okay. And we have 40 such uh, sources. All right. Uh, because this is supposed to be a chart bot, let's see if uh, it has the memory. So let's ask a question which is relevant to the above question, right? So here I have, what is the source of the EBO code? So it should understand what's the EBO code and provide as the source. Okay. So it says the source of the code is speech by the US president, which is correct. Okay. And again, it returned these sources and we can see the sources. So I'm running this application on my local host. Let's see how to develop this. Okay, uh, let me refresh the page. So as you saw here, it has mainly two things. On the start, it should ask us to upload a document and build the rack system. Once it build the rack system, it allow us to ask the questions or do the chat. Okay, so we have two main things. Now we are going to use Langchain, which probably uh, already familiar with and Chainlit. Now Chainlit is similar to Streamlit, uh, which allow us to build uh, UI applications using Python with minimal code. Similarly, Chainlit allow us to build LLM applications. Okay. All right. So from Langchain, uh, we are importing some document loaders, uh, the HTML, PDF, CSV and text loaders. So those are the four types of documents uh, we allow. But we can also allow the audio, video, uh, URLs, etc. Uh, we might need uh, some additional tools to convert the audio video to text. Okay. But Langchain community has built all these uh, document loaders. All right. We also need an embedding model to create the embeddings for our chunks. And then uh, we have a recursive character text splitter. This is to split a large document into smaller chunks with allowing the overlap. We are going to use Chroma database for storing our embedding vectors. And from Langchain chains, we want this conversational retrieval chain, which is one of the main components we are going to use. And then we also need an LLM model, which is this chat open AI. Uh, well, that's not the LLM model name, uh, but that enables us access LLM models in the chat mode. And document, uh, that's for loading the document. And then we also need to store the history and we need this buffer memory. And finally, we are loading the chain lit. All right, I already set my OpenAI key in my environmental variables. So as we saw from the UI, 
the first thing is it should allow us to upload a document and build the rack system so on the chart on the start right um, there are no files so it asks us to upload a file and there are four types of files we are allowing text html pdf and csv now depending on our application we can set some configurations like maximum file size 20 mb and timeout that's 180 seconds okay if you have a large pdf documents or csv documents uh, you can increase these limits all right so we have uploaded the file we get the file name and then it shows the message processing the document which is what this is so when we upload a document so it says i am processing this document once it processed it shows this message done now you can ask the questions uh, which is what we have here but before that we need to build the rack system which is what we are going to do in these few lines of code all right so we know our file name uh, we have uploaded and then here we are figuring out what type of file it is so that we can have the proper loader so if it's a text file we have the text loader if it's an html file we have unstructured html loader for pdf we have pypdf and text csv we have csv loader okay and then here we are defining this recursive uh, character text splitter basically uh, <clears throat> it split our document into chunks of size 1000 uh, with an overlap of 100 uh, hundred uh, uh, tokens yeah <clears throat> all right and then we load the document uh, and we need an embedding model to create the embeddings for each chunk and we are using chroma db we simply supply all our documents along with an embedding model so what this does is for each chunk it creates the embeddings and it store those embeddings in the chroma database okay and all this part is for this conversational and chat history now the important thing here is this output key uh, which is the answer now this depends on what llm we use and how the response is so when we call the llm or the chain when we invoke the chain we get the response and within that response the answer key will have the answer so when we store the history we are saying the key answer will have answer to the question all right and yeah and finally we are defining our chain which is conversational retrieval chain we need an llm we are using gpt4 and we are setting the temperature to zero that's because uh, it's we are extracting information from the document we provided so which is supposed to be factual information so we set the temperature to lowest possible and then the chain type is stuff this is how the retrieved context is uh, put together all right and then here we have the retriever which basically when provided a question it create the embeddings for the question using the same model which we have used here and then it compute the vector similarity between our question embeddings to all the documents in the chroma database and it will return the top two documents okay and we provide a memory to this chain to store the conversational uh, or the chat history and this is also important here we are saying hey return me the source document as well so these two documents uh, the retriever has found we want uh, those two documents as well all right so we build the rack system once it is done it says okay processing of the document is done now you can start asking the questions so that's our first part which is what should happen when we start the application or refresh the application all right and then in the second part we send a message and what should happen so on message 
the message is stored in this chain lit message variable we got the message and here we are invoking the chain with our message now this callback stuff it's for uh, debugging and tracing purposes so we get the response from the response we get the answer and we are also interested in the source document so we get the answer and source document now what we want to do is when we ask a question uh, this is not the question so let me do so let's take a question because that's a follow-up question right okay this is the question now after asking the question we want the output to be in a format in a structured format the output must be the answer to the question and then it should display the sources and we want to have the content of this source document as well okay so for that reason after extracting the answer and the source document all this part of the code is simply to format so that we get this response okay so first uh, we'll come to this in a second here what we are doing is we take the answer and to the answer we are appending or concatenating the source names if there are no sources we are along with the answer we are saying no sources found so answer plus sources which is this part so the answer plus sources so this part is done now we want to show the source documents right so here we are going over all the source documents and then we are creating this text element okay by appending the content of the sources in this case two sources okay so to the message first we provide the answer and then we provide this text elements with the source information so that's why you will see this is a normal text message and then here we have this text element with the source information okay all right so the first part it's a bit involved which ask for the document load the document depending on what type it is split the document into small chunks use an embedding model to create the embeddings store them in a vector database define the memory define the chain with parameters and then pass the chain to the second thing which is what should happen when we provide a message here we are simply calling the chain or invoking the chain we get the response we are interested in answer as well as the source document now all this is just to structure our output so that we can see the answer and the sources all right now the good thing about chainlit is it built lot of stuff automatically for example when after asking the question it's saying it took one step let's see what happened so it invoked this conversational retrieval chain right and it executed two steps first step is this retriever now if we expand here we have the context documents the two documents the retriever has found out using the similarity search after that we are invoking this stuff document chain so we simply put these two contexts together to invoke the llm along with our question and those uh, contexts now stuff document chain it invoke one step which is this llm chain now the response is simply this assistant and we have the response so the open ai models they have three roles right one is the system where we define how the system should behave and then 
we have the user, which is we asking the question. So the question we asked is content. Our role is user. And then LLM response with the role assistant and the content is uh, the actual answer. Okay. So without writing uh, any code explicitly, the chain lit, it built the UI and it will also show us all these steps. Okay. Uh, so we saw how easy it is to create chatbots using Chainlit uh, in this video. Now in the next video, we will deploy this application on one of the cloud uh, services so that anybody can access our application and chat with uh, their own documents. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.